Good evening to you all. On behalf of the Atlantic Council, let me welcome you to the Council's second annual uh, Freedom Awards Dinner. Uh, now let me give you a little bit of a forewarning. Uh, the Atlantic Council does working dinners. That means some of the speeches and some of the comments and some of the awards will take place at a time when you'll actually have food in front of you and when you're served. Uh, an important evening like that, that's actually inescapable, and so I apologize for that. What I would ask you all to do is be very gentle with your fork and your knife and, and try to give the speakers as much, uh, as much uh, 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 respect as you can by uh, keeping the noise down, please, while, uh, while they are speaking. For me, it really makes no difference. You can talk and you can eat and clink as much as you want. But we are, um, I, I want to give my thanks, first of all, to our port partners. First and foremost, Rafael Dudkevich, the mayor of Wroclaw, where literally this wouldn't be done uh, without him, and Pavel Swoboda at Demos Europa. Um, we're also deeply grateful to our good friends, Ambassador Lee Feinstein. It must be said, I said Lee Feinstein a couple of times today, but that's because I'm of German heritage and my grandfather was born here, so I was thinking Feinstein. Uh, but I really want to thank the Ambassador. Again, uh, this would not have happened the way it did without his uh, active, uh, active involvement. And he's co-chair of this Freedoms Award dinner, as is Robert Kupiecki, the Polish ambassador to the US. And I really want you to give a round of applause to both the ambassadors for the work they're doing on our cause. As uh, today's forum demonstrated, Central Europe is a critical partner as we look to reinvigorate the transatlantic Pardon, partnership for Leadership on Global Values. Uh, one of our speakers, Yuri Schneider, said today, this is not about the U.S. doing something in Central Europe, but about doing something with Central Europe and more broadly with Europe, but with Central Europe being seen as being in the center of Europe. Uh, we heard a lot of issues uh, today, uh, but most prominently talk about Russia, talk about Turkey, talk about energy security, talk about Afghanistan, talk about the future of NATO. What we really saw, and this will be part of the theme of this evening, is it, it's like a team that has won this incredible uh, victory in the Cold War that really changed the world and ushered in a new period of globalization. But we have to regroup and we have to think about what do we do for an encore, and we heard a number of issues. And particularly, uh, Nick Bray at the end, an old friend of mine, made a call upon the speakers for greater vision, that he hadn't heard nearly enough vision during the day, and I want to echo that here, because the people we're honoring tonight are people of vision, and we need that vision now. On the 30th anniversary of the birth of Solidarity, we could think of no place better to host our Freedom Awards than Poland, and in particular, the city of Wrocław. Uh, this city's rich cultural heritage and historic role in spreading the message of solidarity across borders provides the perfect backdrop. The Atlantic Council Freedom Awards recognize extraordinary individuals who have made a defining contribution to the struggle for freedom. Last year, we inaugurated the Freedom Awards in Berlin at the Hotel Adlon on the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. This moment in history was a critical milestone, a vindication of history that freedom can prevail. And I must say, uh, I now, whenever I see uh, someone young and Polish in the world, and it must be said that if you travel a lot in the world, I can hardly believe you have this large of a population for how many young Poles one finds in one place or another world. I always stop and I say to them, do you actually understand you changed the history of the world? Do you understand the the courage of your fathers and grandfathers changed history. And they always look at me quizzically as if they don't quite believe what they're hearing. But it is true. And it's not just uh, Polish uh, fathers and grandfathers. It's fathers and grandfathers from this entire region at one point or another 
risked more than Americans have had to risk for quite some time uh, for, for their freedom. In Berlin, we paid tribute to those who brought about a peaceful end to the Cold War. We presented awards to Secretary Hillary Clinton, German Foreign Minister Guido Westervelle, Berlin Mayor Klaus Wolverheit, and Admiral James Stavridis on behalf, so we gave these awards to them on behalf of the United, uh, the American people, the German people, allied troops, and the people of Berlin. They were accepting on behalf of people who were heroic during those days. We also honored two champions of Central Europe's struggle for freedom on their own behalf, Lech Wałęsa and Václav Havel. This evening, we will commemorate the birth of solidarity by celebrating the power of solidarity's message around the world and the remarkable sex success story of Central Europe's transformation after the Cold War. We will recognize former High Representative Javier Solana for his vision and leadership in overseeing the expansion of our Euro-Atlantic institutions, and of course, much more. We will honor President Alexander Kwasniewski for his steadfast leadership in, in the round table in bringing Poland into Europe's fold and securing its membership in NATO and European Union, and of course, much more. We will honor President Jerzy Buzek not only for his public service in his native Poland and his own struggle for freedom here, but for his historic nomination as President of the European Parliament, who, if you had told me when I was covering Poland in 1980 that there would be a Polish head of the European Parliament, I would have taken a big bet on that, and I would have bet against. Uh, and his unstoppable commitment to the cause of freedom worldwide. These men were crit critical to securing a Europe whole and free, though it's not complete yet. But as Poles know very well, the message of solidarity does not stop in Europe. At the Council, we recognize that to remain relevant, the transatlantic community must advance universal democratic values and support those fighting for freedom around the globe. So finally tonight, we will also honor the Damas de Blanco, or ladies in white, for the courageous call for freedom in Cuba. We have Blanca Reyes, the spokeswoman for the ladies in white here tonight to receive the award on behalf of all the Damas. These women have bravely marched the streets of Havana to call for the release of their family members who were imprisoned and given sentences of up to 28 years, 28 years sentences for their, for their loved ones for simply speaking their mind. We honor tonight their courage and determination. These awardees exemplify the values for which our transatlantic community stands and which we should be proud to advance as universal values all around the world. So thank you for joining us in Wrocław. Just a couple of uh, logistical issues so that you know how this evening will run. Uh, we will have our first two awardees before your main course. We will then take a break for your main course where you can talk freely at your tables. Then the second two awardees. And then afterwards, please do join us outside on the terrace for uh, what I have been told by people who have seen it will be a quite special and incredible fountain show presented by the city of Wrocław. Tonight's performance integrating light, music, and of course water will be Beauty and the Beast. You'll have to decide who at this conference has been beauty and who has been the beast. And then buses will depart from the drop-off point following the show. It is cool outside, and you may want to grab your jackets before going to the show. So now, uh, let me thank you for joining us. I know you're going to enjoy the special celebration of freedom in this beautiful city. And at this point, I want to uh, hand the stage to the visionary mayor of Wrocław, Rafał Dukiewicz.